I got the highest Geekbest score running iOS 18.1.1. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. And it's been 24 hours that iOS 18.1.1 is out. And into this video, I want to talk about how is the battery life performing after 24 hours and what is the Geekbest score. So this video is going to be these two topics. This update came yesterday and this as it is a double dot update, there is nothing new it is a security fixes update and i talk about what is in the update in my one of the videos go to my channel and check out that video this video is mainly going to focus on the battery life like i'm using from last 24 hours and how is the performance well let's start with the battery life so going into the settings then going to the battery let the battery starts load over here go to the last 10 days on this is today when I use iOS 17 point, iOS 18.1.1, sorry for that. And as you can see, I used 75% of my battery. And from that I got um, four hours and 13 minutes screen on time on the iPhone 10s. So it's quite an old device, but still this is a really good screen on time. If I show you the battery health, it is 86% as you can see over here. So yeah, it is a really good screen on time, being very honest. As you can see, I was quite active on YouTube, was bit on Geekbench score. I was seeing the results and checking previous results. Then I was using threads. I'm quite active on threads these days. So make sure to follow me over there. Links are given in my profile at the iOS Sky 101. You can follow me there. And I use some other applications like Telegram, Pocket Cast, X, WhatsApp for Upbit and this app was running in the background. So it is a really decent battery life because it is a media app and media app always conceived more battery life. So getting four hours, 13 minutes for um, um, 75% is a decent battery life. So I'm very happy with the battery life of the iOS 18.1.1. Now move to the performance and let's talk about the performance over here. So what I will do, I will go to the Geekbench app over here. First, we will talk about the CPU benchmark then i will talk about the gpu benchmark there are surprises by the way in the gpu benchmark too so going into the cpu benchmark cpu history as you can see the results i got the highest ever multi-core score so it is 1323 on a single core as you can see operating system 18.1.1 3075 on a multi-core if i compare it with the average one it is better than the average in the multi-core it is way better than the average and if I show you the previous scores, it was 3001 on 18.1, 2794 on a multi-core. These I'm talking about multi-core scores only. You can see there was never 3000 and this time I got 3075, which is insane. I know single core scores are good before like 1352 was the highest one or I mean like 1359 was the highest one, but still it's a decent score as multi-core score is really great. So according to the paper scores are good and no issue at all there so if i talk about the gpu benchmark over here going to here gpu benchmark 9724 metal score it is way higher than the average one as you can see and i never got this much high before this there was 8084 on i guess 18.0.1 then on 18.1 is about 8437 and now on the 18.1.1 is 9724 this is insanely high. I'm not sure if I'm able to get this much high ever again, but this is really good score. So all paper scores are really good. And when I install this update 18.1.1, right after installing this update, I was able to see the performance. It was buttery smooth. Everything is going really good. I'm really enjoying, despite this is one of the very old device that supports iOS 18, it's still in a really good shape. I saw many comments people are talking about that iOS 18 is not good even on iPhone 11. I would suggest you guys try the 18.1.1. It's a really decent update. So this is just 24 hours. Definitely I will test it more because I was always take a couple of days to get more stable. So may it get better or may I find any sort of bugs. Definitely I will talk about those things in upcoming videos. So this was a small simple video I wanted to talk about the battery life and the performance like after using it for 24 hours and both things are really really good and the device seems in a really good shape well this is all from this video i hope you like this video if you did 
give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel and yes guys i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out